Hello, it's Tyler, aka One Thirty T. Um, that's also my Instagram handle. Uh, you can follow me there for lots of posts having to do with reselling on eBay and going thrifting and my Golden Doodle Holly and just everything in my life. Anyways, uh, I went to a consignment shop this past weekend with my fiance Ray, and this is some of the things that I found, or we found. <laughs> First up, we got this cabbie. It's an extra large. It's kind of be kind of hard to see, but it's a draped black top with it's like a suede drape on it. Um, comps on that I saw were oh between twenty and thirty dollars pre-owned, so that was pretty good. Um, that's what I'm hoping to get. I paid on that. I paid four dollars for it. So, being a consignment shop, stuff's going to be a little more expensive than if I were to get it at the bins or even a regular thrift shop. Next, we got these Old Navy Rockstar jeans. I like Old Navy jeans. They're kind of a bread and butter brand for me. Um, they sell really quick. They were three fifty, and I'll easily get. 20 bucks free shipping. Maybe a little bit more. I might list them a little bit higher, but I'm guaranteed for at least 20 bucks free shipping. Next, one of my favorite brands I can ever sell. Even though this is a little bit lighter wash than what I normally do, um, it is not your daughter's jeans. They're the boot cut. They are kind of a lighter medium wash jean, size 16. I bought them for $2.50 and again, about 20 bucks free shipping. Next up, we have some men's Levi's, they're 505. I don't know if my camera is going to focus that good because I'm using my phone. Uh, 3630s. I paid three dollars for them, and again, about that twenty dollar range. Free shipping. Hopefully, my light off to the side here isn't gonna mess with us. Actually, I might shut it off, and hopefully, it'll be fine. Don't mind my chaos of my death pile and stuff on this bed here. Let's see. Hopefully, we got enough light now. Next, we got these, they're Levi 541s, they are brand new with tags, and they are size 46.32, so they're big. I paid $7.50 for them. I'm going to get them, I'm thinking I can get $30, 30 to $40 for them with free shipping, um, just because they're big and tall, and those jeans always Levi's so great whenever you get tags, but I can go 30 to 40 free shipping anytime. Next, we have this Lularo uh, top. It's kind of a gray with some floral on it, but I mean, if you don't know Lularo and you're into reselling, then you don't do a lot of it yet. <laughs> But anyways, uh, I paid five bucks for this. Um, Pre-owned, even though it's not a super fun pattern, I'll still get around 20, 25. So I might make 10 to 15 dollars profit on this thing. But Lulu always sells quick. And then we have a Lulu Row, just kind of a oh, it's kind of a grayish, oatmeal-y almost color. Maybe even to the, yeah, the tan side. It's an Irma large. It has the tags. Um, 25, 30 bucks. And this one I've only paid. I think actually this one was. Now uh, this one was six. So dollar more for the new tags. So this next shirt I picked up just because it's fun, and it was two dollars. It's this little lightweight My Little Pony shirt, size large. Sorry. Um. Yeah, $2. Why not? 
I'm going to put it up for like 15 and it weighs like literally probably five ounces, maybe four ounces, probably five ounces. This thing will like ship for nothing. And even if I get 10 bucks, I'll still make seven, eight bucks off it. Then uh, a lot of these brands aren't really super high end. Uh, most of them are kind of medium, bread and buttery. Day trip shirt. Sorry, I'm sucking at getting tags in here. Plus the consignment tags are in the way. Day trip. With my blurry camera. Just a little jewelry and stud encrusted shirt. Paid two fifty for it. That's another like fifteen to twenty. Then we have this is the limited top. Um, limited. My lighting sucks in here right now. Kind of a snakeskinny looking greenish top. Long sleeve. Lightweight. I mean, I can see the camera through it. Um, again, 15 I paid two bucks for it. 250 for this one. This is also a day trip top. Kind of a animal print with some, what are those things? Sequins on the front. Long sleeve, super lightweight. Dang it, I'm having lots of troubles. There we go. Um, again, 250 for this. Another 15. So, I mean, when you can buy something for under three dollars and you can sell it for 15 you're going to make probably eight to seven bucks maybe nine depending on how much it weighs those last three tops all weighed like nothing so they'll ship for under three bucks and that's big because that gives you basically an extra dollar compared to some things um this is just a bke bke buckle i oh, man my camera is horrible today because of the lighting um, it's just a green animal print with the black lace around the edges. Again, 15 bucks. This I need to do a little bit more research on. Um, it cost us $3. It is a, the brand I don't think is really important. It's Classic Line. Classic Line. And it is a Germany, a black Germany uh, zip up coat and it has the nice German co flag colors on the sleeve for going down each arm and yeah what did we what they say we paid we paid three dollars I'm gonna guess we can get 30 to 40 uh, maybe a little lower but man it's a nice good quality thick but light jacket I'm, I'm I think this is a good one um, easily like I said I think I'm gonna shoot for I'm gonna put it up at 40 and I think at minimum I'll take 25 on it but I'd be I doubt we can get to that next this is from the buckle it's the uh, limited series of the obey propaganda I'm sure you've seen the image of the Andre the Giant Obey Propaganda it's artwork on lots of things. This is just a series they did for the buckle. Um, this was 250, 15 to 20. Even if it's new tags, I'm, I'm gonna put it at 20. Probably to end up getting in the 15 range. And finally, um, Ralph Lauren Polo. Kind of a pinkish red. It's real super soft. Is it Pima? This one isn't Pima, but man, it is soft. Uh, polo, two fifty for this. I'm I can get fifteen to twenty for these normally, um, especially brighter colors or unique patterns. And this one's just really, 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 really nice and soft. And I might even throw that in the description, even though people don't search for soft. But it's awesome. If I if it fit me, I would keep it because it's it feels just feels comfy. And last but not least, the find of the weekend, these uh, 
Nike, Kobe, are they Kobe 9s, I think? I don't remember for sure. They're the influences. Um, they are in pretty great shape. Um, there is one or two things that, I mean, are going to knock the value down. This swoosh actually looks like it peeled a little and someone tried to glue it on, back on. So that's going to bring the value down. Uh, comps, on, I paid $750 for them. The comps I saw um, for pre-owned ones in great, excellent to great condition were like $189. I'll probably only get 150 for these to 125 in that range, but for 750, that's a huge score. Um, so you got it. I'm just when I saw them, I knew from across the room that these were something special, and I was hoping it was green tags 50% off at this consignment shop that I was going to. And as soon as I saw there was a green tag on the bottom or dot, I guess they use on the shoes. I was like, yes, I know, big money's coming. So, yeah, it's it's, it's just all in all was a great weekend. Um, like I said, a lot of bread and butter stuff, big ticket item, uh, maybe two or three kind of medium to larger range items um, for what I paid for them. So all in all, I think about 16 things. I was think it was like $62 with tax and all. So I think from that, if you do... I should have done the math on this earlier. Um, let's see, so... Do, 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 do. I think I can get, with the shoes, pretty close to $500. Four to $500. It just kind of depends on where the shoes sell. So, paying 60 bucks and turn into four or 500 Maybe even more than that. My math is not working right now. Um, I really should have figured this out before I made this video. But, anyways... Yeah, so even at let's bare minimum ten bucks a item, that's a hundred and sixty and blah blah blah. I should quit rambling. <laughs> Anyways, um, thanks for following. Um, I'm one thirty t. I'm also one thirty t on Instagram. Follow me, please. Subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna start doing more videos. Um, I know the quality isn't super great on them, but I'm new to this, and I'm hoping to improve more and more, um, bring up the production value, and eventually be pretty good at this and feel a little more comfortable doing it. I'm feeling good today, though, compared to some of my last ones, although, you know, I like to ramble a little. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like down below. It helps out and kind of grows the channel, and hopefully we'll get up to thousands and thousands of subscribers someday anyways again 150t follow me on instagram subscribe and like thanks everybody